to get this, I have to start with many other things. And let me show them to you before we get into the CNC machine. Nope, I don't need a chicken to make a sign, but I got a few of them too. They out here running around on the back, back of all our property out here. So, but we don't need a chicken to make a sign. Now this is something we need. We usually get our logs from the guy up in the Grange, Texas area that uh, clears right away and maybe some ranchers or farmers that don't want uh, the logs in the way of the fence lines. So we just don't intend to go out and tear trees down to cut them up. But, oh yeah, the chickens, they got to follow me around a little bit. But yeah, definitely we got to have this stuff here. And then I'll show you what we do next to get them to the size we need to use. The next thing you need is a gadget similar to this right here, and it's a sawmill. Now this is the Harbor Freight Bought Sawmill. I picked it up at an auction you know, a couple years back, and I use it to do a lot of my small, small logs. And that brings the process down where you got a bunch of scrap left over, and you got some pretty nice slabs to start making your signs with at that point. Once you put a little gas in the old sawmill, then you got this. With a little bit of manual labor, you're able to start cutting you some slabs. Then you can run them through a planer. And then you can start the CNC wood router and actually start making your signs. Now I've got another sawmill, or actually I built three or four sawmills, and I've got some videos out there of those. So let me just take you inside and show you where we're at on the build we're working on now. And then we'll get right into the CNC part of the video. Well, we're not quite there yet, but I saw these uh, yesterday. And these are ones I'm going to start getting down uh, into the size I need them for the signs that you see on top. Okay, now we'll go to the old homemade sawmill. Probably going to have a little fan noise behind you. And a lot of junk all around the sawmill because I kind of got it mothballed right now. But yeah, this is one of the homemade sawmills that we build. It's a one, 158. And it'll cut up to about 38, 40 inch board. So yeah, guys, that's my process of getting my lumber ready to make signs. Now into the CNC part. Cutting out our first job with our homemade CNC router. We're going to put some other videos out there showing uh, how we built it. Uh, kind of excited. Uh, Projects like this I've never attempted to do. But with the help of all the YouTube videos out there and a lot of stuff on Google, I was able to uh, put this little machine together. It's not doing the perfect job yet because I have a lot to learn about the bits and settings and everything else, but we made it this far. We're actually using a Mach 3 software for Vector Desktop Cut TV. And it's uh, a little tricky to start learning, but uh, we got it down to where we got a good start at it. So uh, stay tuned for our future videos. Well, like I said, you put me out something there showing how we built it, what we used. Right now we're just using an old fashioned router that we had for about 10 years. Uh, we do have another router, actually two routers. One of them we got from uh, Harbor Freight. There's a lifetime warranty, so we burn up as many of those as we want. It runs up to 30,000. I'll show you a picture of it just for All right, <clears throat> I've got a selection of free spinners. I'm, out, I'm starting with the one that I have on the machine that you saw it running with. And then, of course, I went and bought one of these 1.5 kW spindles online. And it takes a VFD to run it. And I also have one of these brackets I bought here that I can actually mount it in. Now the bracket I think is just a hair bigger than what this is, but I could find something to shim that up with if I have to make that work. But you know, like I said, it's to uh, 24,000 RPMs, 400 hertz, 220 volts, 65-1.5. Pretty good size spindle. Like I said, it does take a VFD from what I've been told. You have to have that to run it. I do have a VFD over there that I took off my uh, my lathe, which is over here. Because it was a three-phase system. And I ran 220 to, to the VFD. I ran this whole lathe off that VFD. So I'm going to pull that the VFD off of there, which I've already done, later on to test this spindle out. But I decided to go down to Harbor Freight the other day. The wife wanted to get her hair done uh, down, right, right, right down the street from it. So I'm going to go in and look at their spindles. So I went in there and I found this Bauer. 
And guys, it was only around $74 currently at today's price. And if you look at the side of it, quarter inch trim router, 120 volt, 60 hertz, 6.5 amp, 10,000 and 30,000 RPMs with a quarter inch collar. Model 191-21E-B. Now you know you can buy one of these things $74 with a regular warranty. Or they tell you you can buy one and get a lifetime warranty to pay that additional charge. Now if this router works out fine and I get a year or two out of it, or less, whatever I get basically, I'll just go down there and buy me another one with a lifetime warranty and I can run this thing into the ground if I need to. But I got a feeling it's going to last a long time. So that's where I'm going with my spindle routers router spindles or whatever you want to call them and this is the back side of the machine I still got a lot of stuff to do on it tie up the wires and take supports and nothing fancy but I just wanted to see if I could build it and make it work and so far it does like I said earlier I got to build a stand for it which I built this little stand years ago from a, either from a Dewalt planer or I can use it for just about anything. Got some old steel casters on there. I need to get some rubber ones to make it easier to roll around. But I'm going to build one of those and put that machine on so I can kind of make it mobile. You know what I mean? Now let's look at something else. I found that old computer on eBay. It's an Optiplex 380 with a 7 on it, one to 7. And it's suitable to run Mach 3. Now, you're going to laugh at this, right? My box ain't fully closed in yet and I don't have any fans in it. But I'll show you a picture in a minute. I got a big fan blowing on it. I'm going to close it all up and uh, make it look more professional. But there's my power supply. There's my breakout board. There's my three drivers. DQ 542 MH. Now I know I had a lot of trouble wiring this thing up. There's about a jillion different schematics. <laughs> Only one out of them jillion will work. So I'm going to put a video together of how I wired this unit up and how I have it working. And hopefully it will help y'all. So if you're interested in the future videos that need some information on wiring, well, I'm going to shoot you an email out there, shoot you something to let you know I'm going to shoot that video and I'll give you all the details of where goes where and when goes where and all that good stuff. So guys, stay tuned for my future videos. I'm going to be shooting a whole bunch more on this uh, homemade CNC wood router. I call it South Texas, South Texas, South Texas, East Texas, Hillbilly style. Stay tuned. Hit the like, subscribe.